we go from blow away black heat at the bottom of the fen up to 80-90% um, clay and we work through from silts everything in between so whereas um, we have experience now um, both here and in the farm in Leicestershire I think of every soil type there is from um, Ragdale, Hanslope, Ceres, all of the soil types um, and they're all now subject to um, conservation agriculture again everything for 10 years we started 15 years ago converted the whole lot 10 years ago and yeah wish we'd done it 20 years before that <laughs> It started some years ago when we found ourselves in a catchment sensitive farming area and we had to do something about diverse pollution. We were polluting the river eye along with our neighbours and that was the trigger point that decided we've got to do something about our form of agriculture to stop doing that. Um, really the, over the years surprisingly quickly the soil organic carbon has leapt up along with it um, a mass of um, invertebrates, worms in particular have increased um, to staggering proportions really. Other things have seemed to happen we have a massive bird population that eat the worms Mm -hmm. So they've had a huge increase. We've also now had, which I'm not so keen on, a massive increase in the birds that eat the birds that eat the worms. So there are some downsides to the job, but um, yeah, mostly it's very, very good. Um, somehow we find ourselves with a um, new problem pretty much every year, whether it be mice that appear in the fields now, which when we ploughed up, didn't. Um, we have weeds um, appearing, which are perennial weeds that are in the fields, which were are now quite difficult to remove. So we have to find a new technique for that. We have to find ways of planting. Remember, we don't move the soil at all. Um, and through all soil conditions, as the soil changes, which it does dramatically, um, over time. So every year a different challenge. We now go much quicker um, drilling after the combine. We used to wait on the early years, now we go pretty much as soon as the combine's out of the field we're drilling. So about 80% we got drilled on time and that did us very well. 20% we didn't and that had to come in addition to the 20% spring, so we were 40% um, spring drilling after 12. Very difficult, but the crops that we got in in time did all right. We have to use disc drills. There is some debate between disc and tine drills, but actually um, if you use cover crops or get a load of mulch as we are building up on the farm, then you have to have a disc because you've got to cut through it. The vertical discs leave a vertical slot and squeezing it shut most of the time is okay. A lot of the time can be difficult or if it gets comes dry on the heavy land these slots will open. So what we, an idea I had some years ago um, was if we went in at an angle, lifted a piece of soil up, put the seed under and rolled it flat then we got away from all of the problems with slots, with hair pinning, a lot of perceived problems. Talked this over with a friend, um, Tony Gent, who after over the four years of experimentation has produced the GD opener, um, which you've seen today, which we were so thrilled with um, having watched the, ex the first experimental drill on our farm in um, only Easter this year and we are over the moon with the results as you can see they drill in anything you have to get on your hands and knees to know whether a field has been drilled because moving soil or not moving soil is um, really what we're about and yeah very very much taken by the performance 
We have a sprayer, a spreader, a drill and a combine. And they are the only land working machines on the farm. I mean, we have much spreaders, we have trailers and ditches, but working on the machine, that's all just for 